The leader is in the role to make those critical decisions when, when, when it needs to be done. And at some point, the buck stops here. Um, and so the buck stops with the leader. So uh, the leader is, is challenged with making decisions. However, if, if the leader makes all the decisions, um, then you're not building up the next generation of, of, of staff in your organization. So whereas the leader has, sometimes has to make those critical and tough calls, it's important for a leader to allow the subordinate staff to the other part of the staff to, to also have direct input and help make those decisions. And in some case, make the decision and the leader supports that decision. Even though it may be a little risk, it may be different than what the leader would have to do. But if you're going to build that capacity in your organization, the leader can't make every decision. The leader has to empower other other members of the staff to make those to, to make good critical decisions and then back them, even though it may not be exactly what they would do. Um, as long as it's not going to significantly damage the organization, let them make those um, decisions and, and maybe make a mistake or two. That's how you learn and that's how you grow. So, but ultimately, the the leader has to make. Sometimes they're going to have to make those tough decisions, and as long as you have that relationship, that you built that trust, that that the, the staff realizes that this is a critical decision, the leader's going to make it, and as long as they realize that the leader the leader's going to let them make some decisions, and they're going to support them, I think it's really important.